Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. I am back again with another look at the Breath of the Wild super hack from the mind of Vlad. Now I've already done a general video covering a lot of the features that it is capable of. So if you want to check that out, I'll put a link on screen right now. So of course he called it a super hack. I consider it a very advanced uh, memory editor, but in general in the community editing these types of features that they're actually called trainers. So I'm using a Breath of the Wild trainer. So I can adjust many, many things. Today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the camera adjustments, particularly the field of view. So as you can see on screen, there is literally nothing, no HUD or anything. What I'm using is Pro HUD Plus, which is a graphic pack which you can use within Simu. Uh, so as you can see, I've locked my health and I've locked my stamina. So what that means is, if you're a content creator, this is absolutely perfect because one, I can't get hurt, and two, the stamina bar will never appear. So the image will be very, very clean. I have also locked my world effects, so I've picked a weather, time of day, etc. that I like, and I've locked it so the weather will not change. So this is absolutely perfect for people who are trying to create that cinematic experience so let's go into location and show you what can be achieved now before i adjust the actual camera settings let me touch on another point at the bottom here we have aspect ratio now uh, this is something that people want for the super widescreen effects of course and check this out you can just basically scroll straight through them very very easily of course it looks skewed because i'm actually using a 16 by 9 monitor so for example if you have a 1080p screen which is a, and it's 60 by 9 aspect ratio what you can do is go for example right click nvidia control panel and what you can do is actually create a custom um, resolution so even if you don't have an ultra wide monitor you can still use the ultra wide resolutions okay so with the camera one of the first things i'm going to do is adjust the minimum and maximum distance so that means we can basically push the camera to its limits so as you can see by default we have a minimum distance of 1.2 and a maximum of 12. so what that means is that it can only get so close and it can only go so far away the minimum i found was 0.1 and the, the usable maximum I found was 30. So for example, as you can see, we are going a lot further. So that's at 30 at the maximum distance, but the default was actually 12. So as you can see, there's quite a considerable difference there depending on the visuals that you're trying to achieve. So let's, let's put the max back down to 12. Okay, and let's just bring a bit closer to Link. Now, if we go to the FOV, this is something that people care about, okay? So let's just adjust these in real time and show you what can be done. Let's start with current. Okay, so as you can see, we are gradually extending the FOV. One thing to be wary of is, yes, you can go too far with this, all the way to the point where it basically becomes warped. Let me show you that if I can. And you know what, once again, it really depends on the effect that you're going for. If you want some kind of bizarre uh, warped effect, then uh, be my guest. It really depends on the experience or the visuals that you're looking for. Okay, let's bring the FOV back to something a little bit more reasonable. Okay, so we have this like super wide effect. Let's go with the offset Y static offset Y static 2. Okay, so as you can see, it's kind of like... Well, it's basically going up and down from our feet to way above our head. And a similar effect with Y static 2 as well. So let's go and extend our maximum distance again and show you some of the things we can do. So let's look how far out we are. So now we have this absolutely insane view of Hyrule in ultra, ultra wide. Um, and the possibilities are just endless. You also have additional camera effects in Camera Other, um, where we can adjust opposite movement. This has always been a bit, a slightly interesting experience for me, where the camera, it just basically does whatever it wants to do, I suppose. First of all, how cool, how incredibly cool does that look? Just with the FOV slightly adjusted. You can go very far in, of course. And you can go very far out all the way to this very strange warping effect. 
With the wider field of view, I have noticed an impact on FPS, and I suppose that's logical, purely because look at how much we're having to load in. So, a uh, cool bit of info for you. If you get lost with all of these settings, which trust me, will happen, I guarantee it, I've noticed that all you need to do is load your save, and if you look at the right of your screen now, you will see that the values reset to their default uh, when it comes to the camera. So these are some values that I found earlier. What we're going to do is we're going to go full screen and I'm just going to just basically run around. So there you go, people. That was a good look with what can be done with the camera in Superhack as well as, of course, adjusting the field of view. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. If you want to see more content, remember to subscribe. Take care, have an awesome day, and I will see you next time.